What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Ask Firebase. And today is a great episode because we have the one, the only, Fontaine Foxworth, who works on the Firebase analytics team. Fun fact about Fontaine, she has a NCAA championship ring in men's volleyball. And one of my favorite things oh, about- Oh, and also, she is a prize-winning crocheter. Uh, I would love to And tell also, you one more thing. She is a state champion mathlete. Fontaine Foxworth, everyone. So we got a lot of great questions this week on Twitter, Stack Overflow, and YouTube, all with the hashtag Ask Firebase. And they're all Firebase analytics specific this week. And if you want your question, Fun fact about Dave, Dave actually used to be left-handed, but he no longer is. You win, Fontaine, you win. So Fontaine, should we dive in? Yeah, let's do it. Question, question time. time. So the first question that we got submitted was from Hagai on Twitter. And Hagai wrote, we're building an Android SDK. We need analytics for us and for our customers. Does it make sense to use Firebase Analytics? So certainly, your customers should definitely be using Firebase Analytics. It's built for app developers. But we also know that sometimes app developers are sensitive to adding too many SDKs to their app. So you could also integrate with Google Tag Manager, mm -hmm. so that way they're not adding an additional SDK to their app, but rather they're using this common data layer that's being collected by Firebase Analytics and then sending it to any of the relevant third parties that need that data. So you could still have your cake and eat it too. Well, I love eating cake. Thanks, Hagai, for submitting that question. Super awesome. More, More questions. questions. So this next question comes in from Russ. And Russ asks, so we had Google Analytics you know, for apps for a while, so why do we have Firebase Analytics? So when we were talking to app developers, many of them had Google Analytics in their app, but they weren't necessarily using it to make decisions for their app. And we found it's because they didn't feel like it was truly built for mobile. And so when we set out to build Firebase Analytics, we knew we wanted to build something that was explicitly for mobile. So it's a lot simpler. It's very event-based. It's no longer revolving around page views. We also have metrics that are specific to mobile. Things like ARPU or MAU. These are terms and concepts that come up a lot in mobile tracking, but aren't as common on the web. And another thing on Google Analytics, it all revolves around session-based tracking. But when we were talking to our app developers, they really wanted to get more of a notion of user-based tracking rather than session-based tracking. So we really pivoted to focus on user metrics, focus on mobile metrics, and really bring more of a mobile experience to our analytics product. Great question, Russ. Thank you, Russ. By my calculations, it's time for another question. The next question that we had was submitted by Cameron, and he wrote in, I see some highlights that Firebase also does marketing analytics and ad tracking. What do you mean by that? What we mean is some analytics tools are just tracking what's happening inside your app. How many level ups a user might accomplish or how long they're sticking around during a given session. But with marketing analytics, what we're trying to bring in is an understanding of how users got to your app in the first place. What were the channels or sources that were actually driving them to your app? Was it push notifications? Was it a particular ad? Was it a link that they clicked on in an email? All of these things they should be able to get insights into, whether you're a PM or a marketer. So you're not just looking at what's happening in the app, but you can see how the users got there as well. Thanks for that question, Cameron. Tiempo para la próxima pregunta? Sí. So the next question comes from Mai. And Mai asks, what makes Firebase Analytics unique? Excellent question. So when we set out to build Firebase Analytics a while ago, we asked developers, what tools are they using for analytics? And what we would hear was people were listing out four or five different types of analytics solutions that they were using to do different things. So maybe they had crash reporting, push notification analytics, behavioral analytics, marketing analytics. Each one of these were often logging very similar events, but being used by different people in the organization. So Firebase Analytics is unique because we're trying to tackle a lot of different types of analytics in a single tool. So it doesn't matter what role in the organization you are, anybody should be able to do what they need to do in Firebase Analytics, whether you're a developer, product manager, or a marketing manager. Great question, Mai. More questions. So the next question comes in from Steve, and Steve asks, can Firebase Analytics bring in data from AdMob and Play? 
Yes, actually. In fact, we already have integrations with both AdMob and Play. If you go into the account settings part of Firebase, you can actually link to AdMob and link to Play. Now we wanna make sure that you have all of your data in a single centralized place. Even today, you can see some of your in-app purchase data that's being processed by Google Play mm -hmm. showing up in Firebase Analytics. So that's just the beginning of a lot of exciting plans that we have to continue to bring in additional metrics into Firebase so that you no longer have to be going to several different interfaces to actually get at the data you want. So if I just have an AdMob account, just like click a button, link it, and just Yes, done. exactly. That's what's up. Great question, Steve. Next, next question. question! So the next question comes from Joe on Twitter. And Joe asks, how does Firebase Analytics come up with gender data? It's a pretty good question. So it's actually all an approximation. Remember, Google is an advertising company, so we've got a pretty good understanding of how through all of these ads that are being shown across thousands of apps in the industry, how users are actually behaving and navigating through these apps. So we're able to approximate different demographic data like age and interests. So you might notice it doesn't line up one-to-one -one with whatever's in your own internal database, but that's of course because that's not what we're reporting on. It's the behavioral analytics that we're able to to approximate based on what we can understand about what users are doing. Great question, Joe. And that was a really good answer. If you want your question answered, make sure to reach out to us on Twitter, Stack Overflow, and YouTube. Just use the hashtag Ask Firebase. So that's all, and we will see you next week, same time on hashtag, hashtag Ask Firebase. Firebase. Fontaine, what is uh, zero divided by five? Zero. What's zero divided by 100? Zero. What is zero divided it's by? It's zero. Yeah, but what's zero divided by seven? Uh, I think I'd like to phone a friend. Can you help me out, kid? No boy. Infinity plus one.